Yes, my brother, this will be the last question. Thank you. Dada Ji, I respect you. Uh, I wanna, I'm not here to question with you or fight with you. I want to embrace you. Thank you. Um, I know you have understood me. I spoke in Hindi and Urdu. Um, the only thing I want to ask you, one small question. Firstly, I'll say Shalav, Pita, Mother, Suvot, Nehikrapa. My Hindu. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, you said uh, uh, that Christ uh, died uh, lived uh, for one and a half days. According to what I read in the Bible during my school days, was uh, he rose on, was it on the third day? Did he say three days or third day? He rose on the third day uh, uh, and ascended uh, into heaven. Uh, but according to your country, I'm British born, but I'm not Indian, born Indian. According to uh, your country uh, of origin, uh, the people claim there that Christ lived there with them after uh, rising uh, for 15 years or something and built St. Thomas Church. Uh, or enhanced that, I don't know. Um, what have you, what sort of comments do you have that idea? No, you see. The Christian is not making an issue out of that. That Jesus went to India and he started the St. Thomas's church. St. Thomas did the St. Thomas church. Why would Jesus go and create a St. Thomas church? He was they created a St. Jesus church. It doesn't make sense. You see? But now, be as it may, be as it may, our idea is that look, nobody dies for your sins. Nobody carries your burden for you. You, according to the law of karma, what you do, you pay for. If you have done well, you earn a reward. If you have done evil, you pay the punishment. That is also Islam. You see, that we have to pay for our own sins. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The one that sins will perish. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. The Bible says, son means father Adam. We, the son, we will not pay for what Adam did. Poor Adam, he made a mistake and he paid the full price. He paid the full price. We, his children, will not be questioned. He says, your father Adam, you know what he did? So he God punishes us for that. He says, no, he won't do that. Neither the son, son bear the iniquity of the father. Ne the father shall not bear the iniquity of the son. Neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. God Almighty will not ask Adam. He says, look at your children. 25 million sodomites. You call them gays, gays in America. Your children, the bloody rubbish. What kind of children have you brought? No, no. God will not ask Adam, and he will not ask us what Adam and Eve did. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That is the law of God. But if the wicked will turn from all the sins that he has committed, means he asks for forgiveness and repents, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. That is Islam. That is Islam. You pay for your sins, I pay for mine. Nobody, nobody pays for anybody's sins. But the Christian believes that he must, somebody must pay for his sins. So he wants to pass the buck on to Jesus. You know, make things easy for himself. He can do what he likes, but Christ paid for it. You know, and J Jimmy Swaggart, he said, the greater the sin, the greater the redemption. If you, what kind of redemption is it? Jesus Christ, I stole somebody's pin, his pin. And Jesus pays for that. For my parking ticket, he pays for that. What has he done? Huh? But for Hitler's sins, on account of him, 40 million people died in the Second World War. If Jesus pays for that, that is something. If he pays for Peter Sutcliffe, he raped and ripped 13 women, and Jesus pays for that, that will be something. Get the idea? The greater the sin, the greater the redemption. What philosophy is this? Well, it's been quite a night. To all those who've had questions to ask and haven't had their answers, our apologies. The shake, as you can imagine, it 
78 years old, is probably feeling the strain, I know I am. He's a very hard man to keep up with. He has to catch a six o'clock flight tomorrow morning to Brisbane, where he'll be talking to the Christian and Muslim community in Brisbane. His tour takes him across Australia. <laughs> but, well, I might talk for another 25, but I think I might get thrown off the stage. But he will be back. On Tuesday, same time, same place, the topic will be Christ in Islam. I'm sure, Christian and Muslim alike, you found tonight interesting and informative. I know I have. I've had the privilege of hearing him speak on at least three occasions before this, and every time I see and learn and hear something new. Before we all go, would you all please show your appreciation once again for the Sheikh.